First, we're going to get the latest on the pandemic. Right now, every state in the U.S. except Vermont has reported either high or substantial transmission of COVID. The Delta variant is infecting kids at increasing rates, and doctors are now urging the FDA to fast-track vaccines for children. Florida currently has the highest number of young children hospitalized with the virus. Victor Okendo is there at a children's hospital in Hollywood with the latest. Good morning, Victor. Good morning, Robin. It's the emergency department here at Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital where they have seen the sharpest rise in cases. In June, they had just 23 COVID positive patients come through their emergency rooms. In July, that number went up to 241. And so far in August, they're about halfway to their July numbers. This morning, doctors are making an unprecedented push to get children vaccinated against COVID-19. As new pediatric COVID cases near 94,000 in just the last week, and children are hospitalized at a rate nearly four times higher than just a month ago, the head of the American Academy of Pediatrics is now urging the FDA to authorize vaccines for 5 to 11-year-olds as quickly as possible. We need to be approaching um, uh, the trials and the authorization of the COVID vaccine for children with the same urgency that we did with adults. Um, just as it's a serious disease in adults, it can be a very serious disease in children. But Pfizer has not yet applied for emergency use authorization for 5 to 11 year olds. That's expected to happen at the end of September. The company hoping to start giving out shots by the end of 2021, if not sooner. In Texas, where hospitals have started setting up outdoor overflow COVID tents once again, seven-year-old Enzo Montoya, a second grader, was hospitalized with the virus for more than two weeks. He had to be isolated for 10 days. Just one of his parents allowed to stay with him. They thought they'd taken the right precautions by getting vaccinated, but Enzo was somehow exposed. They're lucky that we were able to bring Enzo home, and it's very sad right now with COVID rising and kids. So we just want everyone to do their part, get vaccinated, not for themselves, but for the people who cannot get vaccinated. You know, the little kids um, are at risk right now. As children return to school during the COVID surge, a battle raging over masks. Two of the largest school districts in Texas now define Governor Greg Abbott's order requiring them on school property regardless of vaccination status. And in Florida, where they currently have the highest number of children hospitalized with COVID-19, two districts refusing to follow Governor DeSantis's ban on mask mandates, saying no one will be allowed to go without them. The goal is to keep our children out of the hospital. And why would you not err on the side of caution? DeSantis threatening to withhold pay from superintendents or school board members who go against his ban on mask mandates. That announcement from Florida's governor comes as many of the state's school districts go back to the classroom today and tomorrow. And while they go back and forth over masks, Florida just requested an additional 300 ventilators. Robin. Victor, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.